welcome again in this tutorial we will active breadcrumbs link so this is the crumbs and this crumbs actually for this article so we are now in view page and here is the two crumbs one is home and another is uh, the article links so it should be looking like active so if you go in inspector element you can see there has no any active class so we we should add a active class in here so how we can do so let's see so i think you noticed in previous tutorial we have created a set templates and this is the set templates method method that i have used and this item key that i have written and in this item key in list i have given a classes in previous tutorial so in here at first i'm removing this class and after save then if we reload our page then impact was uh, impact is that the we are not seeing the slash in here and design also broken so now we have to uh, add the css classes so in this tutorial we will add the css classes in view.php so here the view.php and this is the output of view.php and these two links we have added in here so i've just made it multiple lines in previous tutorial you have seen it in a single lines so you can see we in in a single array we have given a two multiple links one is called home links and another is called this view article link and here is the url that we have given and here i'm just giving a given a comma and then go in here and adding a new key array key in here called options and then we are giving the arrow and here i'm taking the class and giving the class name so here the class name will be this uh, breadcrumb item i'm just going to copy it here and paste it in here so now i'm just copy this line and paste it in here so after save now if you go and load your page again so you see the backslash come again so now if you go and see using the inspector element this inspector element you can see the list and the classes added in this list so now if you added the active in here this means active plus in here so after save if you go and reload your page so if you see now again so you can see this active class is added now in this link so this is the list and this is the active class we are not seeing any design because we not added any active class design so for this reason so so let's create a simple design for active class i'm just copy and yes going to create a simple design for active class So making a style and giving a active and design for active plus anchor tag and in this uh, anchor tag i'm just giving a color and color will be black so after save now if you go and reload your page and you can see that design has been changed so now uh, if you go in home page you can see there is no any active plus now so i'm just going in my home page again and here i'm just adding a class so you can see it's actually an array this is the array and there is a multiple uh, array but here you can see it's not in an array it's a single uh, element so i'm just going to copy uh, giving a comma and giving here a class like that class and giving the class name this breadcrumb item actives so after save if you go and it will replace you will see the home is active now when you click here you can see uh, this is the active now the article is active now so now another question is uh, when you will go in this link if you want to add this active class in your anchor tag not in list you, if you want to uh, add this active class in your anchor tag that's how you can do this you are you are able to do this 
So if you go in breadcrumbs documentation, catfish documentation, you can see they have given a inner attributes uh, um, key. So we have to just add this inner attribute, uh, uh, inner attribute, uh, uh, inner attributes, attributes. So this key we have to add this in here. For example, I'm just going to add this in here. So I'm just going in. This is the option. So I will add this in options. I'm giving a comma in here and just paste it in here. So this is the inner attributes. And this is the class. I'm just changing it called test list class. So after save, I also added a ID. So after save, if you go, if you go in here and reload your page. So now go see, let's see in here, this is the anchor tag and this is the ID added and this is the class that I have just added. So now you are able to add your class in list, also able to add your class and ID in your anchor tag. So this is a simple tutorial and this is a simple way to active your breadcrumbs. You are also able to do same thing using jQuery, but I've just given a simple tutorial that how you can active your breadcrumbs in CACPHP. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.